all by design. Very good here. It's interesting how you're both playing it, so different, isn't it? So Ian's going vertical. Uh, yeah. Well, it's because I haven't got any of those clubs. Would you use the pitching wedge? I, I probably, I probably would actually. I, I, uh, I think I would. Yeah. 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 So that's a 58, that's the fairly high shot. Or you can play lower shot. Yeah, that would be helpful. With the same club? Yeah. As, some opposed to, more <laughs> as opposed to having one swing yeah. and then changing the club, which is really severely limited. So what will happen is if I try and hit this lower, when it lands, it like it bounces. Do you see it check? Yeah. And then it yeah. runs. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Now, if that was a pitching wedge or a nine iron, I'm probably not going to get that first check. It's just going to run on. I might get a bit with the pitching wedge, but with a nine or an eight, it's just going to run on. Okay. So if that means that if I want to play a lower shot, I've, I'm resigned to a ball that's not going to stop when it when it lands. I've got to accept now it's going to run on a lot. I've got loft, but I'm hitting down, so it's going to fly lower. Yeah. But because I'm hitting down, the direction of the club is going like this down. So I've still got a big gap between the loft and the, the angle of attack. I've still got, I've still got, and this is going to give me spin. Yeah, back spin. Yeah, the closer this is, the less spin I get. So if I want to, if I want to, if I do that and don't swing down, I'm going to get no spin. It's just going to run on. Okay. It takes a bit of getting your head around at first, but what you will start to do is appreciate the angle you're hitting down at and the loft you've got and you're going to be able to start to manipulate it but it's going to be more intuitive it's going to be you're not going to be thinking clinically about this about it's not a systematic approach it's like just starting to attune you to the golf club to the all this potential with it so you can actually get creative you could probably use one club for all the shots you need around the green instead of having lots of different clubs that you've got to get used to what we're going to start to do is explore all this opportunity we've got with the end of the chain here so this is not rigid. The hands don't stay stiff and the wrist stiff and we just rotate and do this kind of business, which you might have done at some point. Okay, because that's manual labor. That's, that's really kind of, that is laborious. So now what we're gonna do is here, we're gonna to start to, you can get a lot more speed and a lot more control by just letting the hands work. Ian, if you go first, just without the ball, just in, you uh, just make a few swings back and forth. That's it. And just imagine you're hitting it under there for me. That's it. And watch how his action changes. There you go, Ian. And now up there, Ian. Up here, Ian. Up there. Look how his movement changes. Now, notice I'm holding this in front of him and saying, go down here, go down here. And for 95% of the time, he was looking down there. Yeah. Yeah. And not once did I, did I say, I was going, Ian, Ian, I'm over here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And he was down there. Now, where's this golf shot? This golf shot's here. This golf shot's going, Ian, Ian. And Ian's like this. Not listening. But not listening to me personally. Not yeah. aware. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not yeah. spending enough time of what is it's downwind off the left. The green is damp. There's a lot going on here. This is, this is alive. This is dead space. So if I gave you a ball to throw, you're not going to do this and then go, where's it gone? You're going to go, now imagine you're throwing it through there. Sorry. <laughs> now imagine you're throwing it yeah. to, the, to the flag. So there's going to have to be some, that's it now. And then there. Uh, and then there. Yeah. Okay. And you're absolutely right though, looking down, it would look ridiculous, wouldn't it? Yeah. yeah. And to me it looks ridiculous as a golf coach, but to the general public it looks normal because that's what we normally look at the yeah. ball and we get transfixed, but it's it's ridiculous. Now, putting your club back in your hand, 
doing the same thing, looking where you're going and just feeling the, that's it. There we go. You can still look down now when you swing, but follow through, look, that's it. And then up there now, that's it. Now, doesn't that look a different action? Yeah. And then up there. Brilliant. And then hold your, fin just stay with me in, do yeah. it again. Hold your finish. Now put your left hand on the club. Find your grip. Now without stopping, yeah. swish it straight back and through to that same place with this shot in mind. There you go. You can swing in there. Yeah. 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 Okay. And I'm doing that. Proof in the pudding. This is the it's feedback. Really is whether it does it happen. So what you've just imagined there, does it really happen in the real world? Can you hit that under there? Very, very good effort. Only just for here. Yes, yeah, I've done that. So, can you hit it under there? Without <laughs> moving the ball back to your stand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. So, what did you do? I, I just. I, I, I lagged the, the head, basically. You lagged the head. So, so I, I um, closed what it did down. You do? He lagged the head. What does that mean? So I'll show you what lag is, okay? So just with your right hand on the club, put your club over to the left of your body there on the floor. Put your hands in the middle there. Right, ready? And what you're gonna do, watch me, you're gonna drag it, watch me, along the floor, and then thud the ground. Drag it and then thud. So not so the thud, watch me, Joe, is down, make a divot. So drag and then make a divot. And that's lag, what you just did. Okay. So that flail, that was lag. That's it. And then drag and take a divot. That's it. Now it's a great pitching action. Okay. That feels really different to everything else I've ever done. Look at that. Good. Your movement represents intention. <laughs> Little check. Yeah. Now, so you've, you've used your sound wedge in two different ways. Yeah. And look at the reaction you're getting when it lands on the green. Oh, check. It's, it, it's stopped control. Control. Yeah, about a yard or so. Which is great. Let's commit right to the end. That's it. So much more positive. Yeah, I mean, look at the intent there. Yeah. Sure, it? It's awesome, but and but you you look like a man with a purpose. Then yeah, you were like you know this guy knows what he's doing. Let's just grab a couple of balls and let Joe have a few shots. Happy with that? Yeah, very good. That yeah, looked fantastic. Really we're gonna swing the club uh, just with your right hand and just imagine you're throwing it. Imagine you're throwing the club over there. That's it. Just in towards that flag. Move your body around to make it as easy as possible. So that's it. And then hold your finish there. Put your left hand on as well now. Both hands. You can bring it down a bit if you want. Easier. Now take your right hand off and swing your right arm back and forth as if you're throwing. But watch me here, use the whole body to swing. If you were throwing a ball, throw a, imagine you're throwing a ball now, that's it. And notice how your body's moving to help you swing the arm. Yeah. And then on the next one, regrip the club and now swing back and through. That's the swing. Imagine you're doing that now down here. Through there. Looking where you're going, get settled in there. And then whenever you're ready, back and through to that finish, Joe. Look at that. Shot. Sure. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, I said it was awesome. Look at this. <whistles> now that's pitching. Shot. Sure. That's pitching. Different to what you used to do. Totally, yeah. So you think about the hours you spend on pitching and stuff. Yeah. That's not pitching, what you've been doing. You've been doing something else. Now you're using the club. You're using a golf club and you're playing, you're playing a pitch shot with a golf club. That's it, but really powerful to get to that blue flag. There we go. So that's, see how it changes when your focus is on the yeah. trajectory. Yeah. And then off you go with that same swing, punching it low. That's it, that's the shot. Great shot, dude. And that, that finish, if you said to me, Marcus, what shot do you think I just played? I'd be like, you just played a low pitch, low running pitch. 
So your follow through matches your intention. Yeah. This is probably going to be the most used shot you're ever going to you're going to need the low pitch for the sandwich because this checks. There you go, and then it just releases, and it hardly runs that far, so it's always in control. Feel good? Yeah, it feels really good. Yeah, I've never. I've Not enough backswing now, so remember as we get more aggressive we probably need a bit more swing. Doesn't mean it's going higher, just means we've got a bit more swing to punch down and hit it lower. That's it. Brilliant. Can we find this? Look at that. That's brilliant. You can push your... Now remember the club face. We don't have, like Ian rightly said, don't get much too, too much curvature with wedges. The path, the club head speed's not there. We, we don't, the path's not so influential. It's more about club face. Okay. The path does have an influence, but not as much as it does with the full swing. So yeah. it's where you're aiming that club face. So if your balls are going a bit left, aim your club face right a bit. soft landing so now you're just changing what you need to change you're not thinking was it my elbow was it my grip was it my left knee right knee shoulders aiming just it's good face good way happy yeah yeah very happy it feels totally different use that momentum through to the finish there we go get in Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. Confidence. Yeah. You look confident. Yeah, I feel I feel more confident now. Brilliant. Yeah. Happy? Yeah, very happy. Brilliant, brilliant. Really good. Well Thanks, Marcus. You're welcome. Thanks, George. Thank that was awesome. Oh, thank Absolutely you brilliant. so much. Thanks, Joe. Really Great to watch. Yeah. Thank you, George. Brilliant, Matt. Thank well you. done. It's been fantastic. It's been yeah. an interesting couple of sessions, hasn't it? It yeah. really has, yeah. 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 Thanks, George. There's a lot to take away with you now, think about and, and use. Yeah. 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 I, I mean, like the, I think for me, um, you know, just the thinking about using just the sandwich. Mm. And Because yeah. um, I, I do like using it. I, but I ended up just doing, you know, little duff shots. Whereas that, I mean, that was just a game changer. This will do all those. It's going to change my want. practicing yeah. as well completely. Yeah. Definitely. And it, and then when you're on the golf course and the ball's there and you, you're seeing options. Yeah. And then when you go to the practice ground, you're practicing all these options. Yeah. So it's like it, it creates more dimensions to your game, and it's, this is how you're going to improve and. Mm develop your game so it's the, it's a platform this but the, you've got the video and that's the yeah, yeah. ideal form of reference for you so you've got like you can go back to it you can practice elements of it refreshes your mind memory but also it's like a bit of a reset sometimes as well and you've got everything there brilliant, brilliant. thank you that's well great done. thanks and you're welcome thanks. Thanks. Awesome. Thanks. 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 Thanks.